Hello and welcome to you know, Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Komorebi. And last Let's Play, we went to our counselor's office, still hungover but also tired and stuff like that, where they gave us more theories? Stuff about a lost renaissance. Interesting things. Are we going to have any bad guys in this game? Or any other characters? Or is this going to be a thing where the bad guy is just a nameless, faceless corporation? Well, oh, a faceless corporation. I don't know. We'll have to see. Also, we talked about a, an outing to the place. Also, Chiron went to go to the Triple K? Was that what it was called? Whatever. Experience Pivotal Fragment. Useful Inconveniences. Hmm, okay. You're always the last to realize what you never wish to see. Maybe someone's butt? Nope, oh, we're here again. <clears throat> These sessions were quickly becoming a source of stress. The man who's supposed to guide me seems to walk a different path. I would never tell him what we did what we did to Argus. What we did to his bosses. We didn't really do much. As I try to give him vague answers, I hope that he doesn't find me suspicious. Okay, like, how did we get to that anyways? It isn't this... Wouldn't this just be, how does this make you feel, and how is this outing? His perception and the ability to make me talk could easily incriminate all of us. My direct line to Argus has now become a liability, rather than help. Perhaps you should tell me more about this new friend of yours, Delta. Has he been a positive addition to the group? Are you scrutinizing him? Remember, you're not the only outsider anymore. You have a new perspective. Talking about Clace or Chiron? That's true. I think back to one of our earlier sessions now. He gave me advice and said that my friends would put me under a microscope. Since Clace is the new blood now, the microscope kind of shifted to him. I do find it weird that he's like the new blood even though he came, what, less than a week after me? And now I'm looking through the lens. But it wasn't bad. I liked what I saw. Oh, I like what I saw. Boy kissing. Under the microscope might be a bit hyperbolic. What does that word mean? If this is how Isaac and the others judge me, then it was fine. Go ahead, take your time. I'm just curious to learn about your social life. I want to smooch him as well. He's great, and it's cool to know him, know somebody of note. I wish my time in the spotlight lasted a little longer. It makes me feel a little inadequate, you know. Things are good. More friends is always fun. <laughs> Am I able to, like, I thought maybe in Winds of Change I could scroll backwards, but I don't, you can in this game. Anyways, we're going to be a hoe. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm not surprised. It's normal to be enamored by someone's fame and success. You should get to know him a bit more, though, and see who's underneath. Oh, so you mean shirtless? Especially since you've already decided to give Isaac a shot. You should make sure he's okay with you pursuing something extracurricular i'm here to help your life become less complicated not more after all right because remember in the first game or oh, the second game went of change i was going for a lesbian relationship with valesa and then accidentally got orwick sausage and i was like well i guess we'll just continue on this line of things and then i was being nice to sovi which end up with us getting hate sausage. That's fair. It's always good to be honest with everybody in your life. Isaac definitely wouldn't have any trouble with it, though. How do you know? By now, I have a pretty good grasp on our group dynamic. I get a smile from him before he starts scribbling more notes. Every time he does that, I start to get more and more paranoid. Actually, he's just uh, doing tic-tac-toe on his thing 
because I'm it, it makes him look important. I could tell I was he could could he tell I was hiding something? What was he writing? Moving on, I actually wanted to ask you something. Did you watch that report last week on Komarebi's anniversary? Jeez, you sound like I like work. Didn't much have much of a choice. Don't lose points. Good to know that you care about your score. A lot of people just shut off their TV and take the hit. It's not a huge penalty, but it takes some time to recover. Like, I'm sorry. Well, is there like benefits to being like in certain ranks of points, or is it just like you have points and you can do stuff in society, or you don't have points and you're zero? There's no way that Isaac would have allowed that. I didn't really watch it though, if I'm perfectly honest. I remember Argus drinking their ego and something about nostalgia. I'm curious why he brought this up, though, so I sit and listen. They actually skipped over something pretty important. Do you know how Komarebi got its name? Yeah, the visions leak into a world like beams of light in a forest. No, Hence the not name. the meaning of the word, Delta. I'm talking about how the world came up with it. How we all agreed that Komarebi was the right term. Because Argus chose it, I guess? I don't actually know that story. Odd of them to omit such a big detail, isn't it? Celebrate the history, but leave out some of the origins? It's not anything super interesting, but it's a story I like to share. I nod. I'm actually kind of curious why the word Komarebi was chosen. It's on something I'm stopped to question. To me, it was just the nature of things. When the visions first began, nobody knew what to call them. Everyone had ideas, but nobody could make a decision on behalf of the world. It had to be the other way around. The world needed to make this decision. I should... Like, I know I'm not around trees that often, especially at work and stuff like that, but I should use Komorebi more often. Just be like, ah, uh, Komorebi. Because I do enjoy Komorebi. Like, just seeing the light filter through trees. Kind of gives you shade, just... Looking how the light is on a leaf, and how another leaf obscures that light, and all that stuff. Each country was allowed to take submissions from their citizens. Then the entire world would vote on which word or country would win. There was a huge summit where the votes were inspected and revealed. That seems... kind of... What would be the word? It's weird. Usually I think somebody would just be like, here's this word, and then who, whichever word is chosen, whichever word people use the most is the word, you know? It was like a contest? Interesting. Japan and the submission of Komorebi won by a landslide. It was likely because of its relation to nature and beauty. We thought a term like that would make things less scary. Mitigating the fear that Komarebi created was very important. The contest helped people focus on a cause and unify once more. People argue that without it, society may have ended up collapsing. What about the German's word of Hagenstrafendash? That sounds really intense, but it also makes sense. Komarebi created chaos, and it's well documented how bad things were. Getting the entire world to band together for a friendly competition? Good idea. Again, it just seems like, I don't know, you'd want to control Komoreb instead of be like, hey, let's have a contest of what to name this phenomenon. We'll never know for sure, but it's interesting to think about. Anyway, I just think it's a nice story to share. But there's a little more. It leads into a lesson that I like to teach my patients. Oh, so that's what he's doing. The story was actually just a setup for some advice. He seems pretty wise, though, so listen with my curiosity peaked. Well, imagine yourself staring at the sun. A pretty foolish idea, don't you think? Yeah, but unfortunately people aren't that smart. I not. Now put some trees between you and the sun. The beams shine through, becoming something new and beautiful. What could once hurt you now becomes something you can't look away from. You can only fully appreciate it because something got in the way. Next time something obstructs you, just stop and think about that. A lot of people see these things as bad, but they're not. 
Is it truly an inconvenience? Or is it the chance to discover something new? The gay sex voice Mujin. Because you can't get a girlfriend. I can't help but relate to my current situation with Chiron. <clears throat> it feels like sheltering the Zero is going to get in the way of my life. Or at least, the path that I expected my life to take when I arrived. Which is Smoochin' Boys, but could it lead to Smoochin' War Boys? I've been so quick to think, woe is me, and pity myself. But perhaps, I should take his metaphor to heart, and change my thinking. What originally got in my way, might just make my life more beautiful in the end. Because I have another guy to smooch. I don't have a one-track mind. A perfectly normal. Experience Pivotal Fragment. A Brief Reprieve. Surrender is worse than defeat, as it comes with the loss of hope. Unless you're secretly going to unsurrender. We all sit around the kitchen table, much like we did when we were pre-gaming. This is a nice house. This part of the house became reserved for our special plans. Well, do you say the diner in the kitchen? And starting a campaign in Rebels and Revels was certainly special. But only that. Everyone also stocked up on those gummies. So we'd be role-playing under the influence. A pretty tall order. Are we talking about weed? Or CBT or something? These games usually had pretty complex systems to abide by. But Taylor... But with Taylor as a GM, I'm pretty sure he'd be pretty lax. I feel like he'll be... He'll make it fun. Even if my character sheet look like a spreadsheet. I mean, isn't that what a character sheet is? If there's one thing I knew, it's that nobody liked working with spreadsheets. Eh, uh, uh, never mind. I created my character and named him after myself. Delta, a sword-wielding warrior, but that's all I knew. This world and my place in it, I had no clue. Well, let's see, he also has a special sword, which was made from two swords, which was made when a hyena did a thing, and also he can see in the future, but also he's a she. It's odd how I kind of mirrored how I felt in real life. The game set is completely different, set in a completely different world, so I can still relate. That's probably a good sign, though. I'd hate to play as someone I couldn't relate to. All right, well, I don't want to get started just yet. These things usually take a little while to kick in, you know? Maybe we should just chat and relax until I'm ready to go. Oh? Nervous about being a GM? Eh, maybe a little, but it'll disappear. I usually end up locked to the couch when I have these things. If I start to doze off, I give you permission to write on my face. So when I think of GM, I think of general manager. But I would have to assume it's like a DM, Dungeon Master. Permission appreciated, and Game Master, I guess. to be abused. Chiron, you got any special requests? I'll draw on your behalf. We only turn our heads towards the tableau on the table. A slightly choppy video call with Chiron was already well in progress. It was too risky to have him over just yet, but he was happy to join remotely. Pretty sure all our minds went to the same place. Let's keep it a secret. I want to hear him scream when he looks in the mirror. So, like a willy? Pretty sure he does that every morning anyway. Wow! Rude! And I'm organizing this entire campaign for you. Figured you could show me a bit more respect. We will. Until you pass out, that is. And if you feel bad, just remember that you did this to yourself. Is Here's the thing, Baldur's Gate came out recently, I haven't bought it or played it, but I've seen people play, is it supposed to play pretty much like how Dungeons and Dragons would be? Because there's dice rolls and a narrator and stuff, and it's like, huh. As it waves, a permanent marker in the air, 
as if it were a threatened gesture. It's true, at least. Taylor is the one who came up with the wager. As I feel the gummies kick in, I just hope that I don't pass out either. Okay, what are gummies? Anyway, Kyron, how are things going? Hopefully nobody's given you any trouble. I live in Texas, also I'm not too much into drug use. Though alcohol is drug use. Oh, it's fine. Totally living a life of luxury. I could use some better food though. The stuff on board is super stale. Oh, that's no good. But definitely expect it. It's actually part of why I chose that jet. Wait, you chose the stale food on purpose? Heartless. No, not the stale food. It was the rarely used jet. Any other one and you might have woken up in the air. But isn't it, it aren't they your jets? Unless you're just sneaking on board to um sneak in aboard someone else's. That sounds like it'd be fun though. It'd be a great way of getting caught though. Okay, so that jet isn't your jet? Fair. I've just been craving some adventure, I guess. This campaign should definitely scratch the itch. I've never really played Rebels and Rebels before, but I'm sure it will. And if you really need to get out, we can always go back to the Triple R. So we went there? I'd rather come to Isaac's place, honestly, especially after hearing about the Quantum Leap. That's still a bit too dangerous, but I'm hoping to know more soon. Yeah, it's hard with all those Argus agents walking the streets. It's just making tensions rise across the board. Not a help at all. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Armed Argus agents watching the protests. It's probably just an intimidation tactic. That's a pretty bad way to de-escalate conflict, though. The threat of retaliation? And even further escalation? It's worked in the past. Really? Yeah. If you're set up to fail, then there's no point in striking. But it's really confusing in this situation. It's all been peaceful. <laughs> That's why a lot of people don't trust Argus. A lot of moves they make are equally good and bad. But behind the shroud of mystery, most people focus on the bad. Why hide something if there's nothing to hide, right? I think Argus's silence is their greatest weakness. Things could be so much better than they are. Well, at least there's no agents around my plane. But I agree. Argus needs to step up and say something. All of this could be resolved with a single meeting. Hopefully. Oh yeah, I heard that Cypher is calling for the leader of Argus. They've never appeared in public before, so nobody knows who they are. <coughs> but things are currently at a stalemate, so they might actually show up. Hmm. I can confirm that one, actually. Argus is kind of a mystery. The farther you go up the chain of command, the more secretive things are. I'd love to see the leader appear and negotiate, but I doubt it'll happen. What happens if there's a board? I mean, I guess a board has a headmaster or whatever. Well, if Argus does nothing, then we win anyway. Hermes is gonna get phones to all those zeros regardless. That's what Hermes said, at least. Nobody knows the true goals of either side here. But giving Argus time to act might end up backfiring. Oh, these are color-coded Argus is blue, uh, the, the system's blue, the rebels are red, and the middle ground's yellow. How so? Well, it's hard to get food in the city if you're a zero. Right, the uh, starvation thing. Right, lacking food. That, and each second gives Argus more time to plan. If they had agents good at acting, they could even infiltrate the Zeros. Yeah, that's a tactic. Or Cypher, for that matter. They could sneak in and tear it apart from the inside. People say Argus is just doing nothing, but I doubt it. It's more like we can't see what they're doing. But in their minds, I'm sure they've already planned it all. Whatever happens in the next week or two is likely by their design. So if they let Cypher get phones to the Zeros? It'd be a valid tactic. Let them break the law and then crack down. But I think we'll be seeing a move from Argus first. Do we have Christmas? It's the day after Christmas. What makes you so certain? It's Boxing Day. Well, if they don't do anything, Zeros could start dying. I can already see some of them on the streets looking famished. Oh. Hermes extended an olive branch, sure. Argus could end this immediately by embracing the Zeros. But the longer they don't, 
the worse everyone's condition is getting. I can't imagine what it's like to be Hermes right now. But if they're anything like me, they know where they messed up. If Argus doesn't comply, they really could get phones to all the zeros. So this whole you do it or I will thing actually makes sense. I just wish that Cypher would strike while the iron is hot. Waiting on Argus to act is just endangering lives. What a complex situation. It seems like the Zeros could get phones regardless though. And those phones could either come from Cypher or Argus. But though, also here's the thing, where are they going to get the money from? Because, like, if you suddenly get a phone or identity, you have to put money on the phone and stuff. And you have to have money to put on the phone. Or do they have, like, corporate bucks or something? However, the longer both sides wait to act... Wait, However, the longer both sides wait to act, the more lives are at stake. I think that'd be a period, or comma. Print screen. Not every Zero had a friend like Isaac to get them into the system. If casualties became a factor, then my heart would shatter. However, Argus is certainly losing some credibility. I even saw a news poll that almost everybody wants to help the Zeros. And Argus would let them do that? The longer Argus takes, the more public opinion shifts to support Cypher. And if a zero died on the streets of star of starvation? Well, I imagine that shift would turn into more of a landslide. But maybe that's part of Cypher's game, eroding Argus's public image. Whoever the this Hermes was, they're definitely a genius. Holding the people that govern the world in a stalemate. Stalemate? It was... I just wish that the pieces on the board weren't actual lives. Any chance we could get things moving? I know the world is depressing, so that's why I wanted to do this. The slumber party and this new campaign? It's more like an escape. We don't exchange glances and not. This slumber party was supposed to be fun. No, it's scary. Try as you might, I don't think we could affect what's happening outside. And so, we stay inside, in attempt to drown out the external drama. But, as we're about to start our campaign, I can't help but stare at the table. Wait, what kind of gummies were these? I feel weird. The board is placed down, with figures in various spots, ready to move. And Taylor, behind the cardboard partition, looks down a bit. One person completely in charge, despite the will of the characters. One person guiding things down a specific path, no matter what happens. I mean, we could always seduce the goblin. Avoid the main quest. Or seduce the werewolf. In that moment, it was impossible to deny the parallels. You can only hope that Taylor was a merciful GM. And perhaps that Argus is a merciful corporation. Uh, uh, it's kind of not great to have it in the 23 minute sections because that's kind of. Though I guess you could look at the journals. View which journal entry? Which journals? I come out with certain intents. Turns out. Part of Isaac's big surprise was introducing all of us to a popular musician, a popular musician. I guess they became friends that lie. Everything lined up with the move. It was pretty cool to meet someone like that, to be honest. I'm not sure how our overall group dynamic will be affected by all this, but I think our actions with Karen have potential to do that even more. The fine Argus doesn't fit too well with me, but as long as Isaac promises that we're safe, I don't think of it. Worry. It's also kind of cool to see Zero enjoy life in the city. Probably the first Zero in the whole world to do so. I'm just worried that every time we turn a corner, an Argus agent will be there waiting for us. They're definitely increasing the presence in the other stuff going on. Top it off, Karen may be coming to the Wayfarer with us, which seems to be pretty risky. Wayfarer, when it, never mind. Um, we're still going to meet in plain uh, again. Stuff further and we test advice. It's fix. 
It sucks that I have to keep all this secret from my counselor, since he should be helping me make sense of my life, but I'll certainly throw up some things for loop. Paranoia seeps into my sessions, I wonder if he could suspiciously. Thankfully, our chats remain productive. He taught me how the world uh, decided on the name Komrebi for the visions. After looking more, turns out that Nance came in second place with the term Dej Deja Reve, which means already dreamed. Uh, I'm not sure which term I like better, to be honest. Komrebi does seem more in tune with nature and beauty, while Deja certainly captivates mysteries, the psychological eyes of the phenomenon important of the name. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Achievement Dear unlocked. It's all in the Argus chose name Argus. I don't know what Argus actually means. With how much they're supposed to swear the name might be due to the fact nature is beautiful. You think they wouldn't have a name themselves after a monster of ancient history? Granted, it was a monster with many eyes that could see almost everything. So while th so sorry. Hmm. So I was just having a thought like, okay, so we have this thing right here, and this thing right here. Are these just doodles, or could these be like, hey, important symbols that you come back and be like, oh. Oh. And uh, I wanted to know that why the Antarctic organization called themselves Cypher, but I couldn't find any reason, just theories. A cipher is a code when be cracked. Mystery. I guess it makes sense for an Engmag or excuse me, wait, I thought Cypher meant zero. Define Cypher. A secret or disguised way of writing codes. But then it also has dated a zero, the f figure zero. Huh. Oh, so let's just Argus. That's just like a really large looking dude covered in eyeballs. He's just chilling next to a cow. I mean, is he a monster or is he just a dude covered in the eyeballs? I mean, I'd think that'd be kind of rough. Because getting hit in any place of your body... Also, this... It's just this... All the pictures I see of him are just A, him covered in eyeballs, and B, him chilling next to cows. Looking either kind of bored or sleepy. It really does make sense, however. The name of the, her leader, Hermes, everyone's face is it everyone's favorite psycho pomp pop? Oh, weird. It's right out of my favorite mythos too. So I'm really surprised that I didn't think it all together. In addition to helping souls cross the threshold, would he could be mirrored as how Hermes helps zeros end the city. He's also known as Argi Fotes in the same mythology? I can't. Argi Fotes? Which literally means Slayer of Argus. How fitting. However, they are, whoever they are, they certainly did the research and are sucker for symbolism. Could they really win? If Hermes does come out on top, then that means Zeros will help give, will be given phones and the right to live in the city. In that case, he wouldn't once he wouldn't have done anything wrong. Ahead of the curve, as Isaac said. Of course, things are easier said than done. Dante and Taylor are clearly doubting Isaac a lot more than I am. It's hard to get a read on Clay, so he always seems to have his nose buried in his notebook. I guess it doesn't matter what any of us think, though. Our trip to Triple R and the Wayfarer will be a total test, a real test. Achievement unlocked. Well, time to do saves. So, end of this let's play. So, please comment, guys, like, comment, tell me what you like, dislike, tips, or otherwise. 
If you like my YouTube and like it girl, then please like subscribe and share the video sub girl and please remember spain your ammo so I control the pit population. I do f it's where they the only way I could exit this game is I need to tab out. I can't just, you know, click a button. It's just weird how this game seems to be so different than engine-wise than the previous game. Because the first game, I can see it being a bit weird because it's his first game. The second game, it, you know, has a UI and multiple save files. This one's like, yeah, you only get five. You want to exit out of the game where you have to, you know, control alt delete or whatever or you know tab out and then click on the thing and click close window anyways yeah thanks and see ya